Hello everyone, my name is Gita and welcome to your Pick a Card Reading. So the title of this video is going to be, What Secrets Are They Hiding? Alright, so this is going to be stone number one with the Rose Quartz, stone number two with the Amethyst, stone number three with the Obsidian, and stone number four with the Selenite. So you can go ahead and pause the video if you have to and get out your pendulum. And while you're doing that, I would just like to say that if you like this kind of video, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. Also, if you would like to support me on Patreon, and as soon as I at least get more than one Patreon member, um, I will start having Patreon-only content that will most likely be generated as by your request. So if that's something you'd like to be interested in and supporting me with, um, I really would appreciate it. And you can find out how to do that also in the description at the very bottom. All right, so thank you very much. And now let's go ahead and get started and let's find out what secrets they're hiding. All right, so I have the cards for stone number one with the rose quartz and let's find out what secrets they've been hiding. So the signs that could be associated with this reading are Sagittarius, Taurus, Libra, Leo, Aquarius, Libra, again, Aquarius. There's a lot of Libra Aquarius going on here. So that could be a bulk of you, but the other ones could be sprinkled in there as well. Oh, and the Nine of Pentacles. I almost didn't read that one. Um, Leo Virgo. So there's a lot of Leo. There's two Leos. It's going to be a good amount of everybody in there. So I'm taking that a lot of people so far. <laughs> like last night and tonight, I've been doing readings and I see a lot of people pick number one. All right. So what are they hiding? Man. This card, let me go ahead, and this is the Wheel of Fortune, Strength, the Fool in the Reverse, and Justice, the Empress, the Two of Cups in the Reverse, the Knight of Pentacles in the Reverse, and the Star in the Reverse, and also there's a bonus card, the Five of Pentacles, mm, okay, and then we have number eight, Motivation, is the name of this one. How's this a secret? I'd imagine you would know this. Okay. The truth is, is that they feel like that growth and expansion, like the, the growth in this situation is actually meant to be, but they're holding back. They're, I feel like they're holding back from pre either, if you're not in a relationship with this person, I feel like they're holding back from having a relationship with you. Why? Because I really feel like they don't feel like they're enough. You know, for the most part, they're feeling they're feeling extremely unmotivated. I would say this person needs some vitamin supplements or something. When people don't feel motivated, give them vitamins. If you don't feel motivated, take vitamins, man. Most of the time, you're feeling sluggish because you don't have the proper vitamins. There's a lot of vitamins that have to do with um, with your energy levels. So. This person is really trying to limit themselves. This is about laziness. They're just not motivated. This card right here is about laziness in the reverse. <sighs> the, I mean, the Knight of Pentacles is already slow. When it's in the reverse, it's like, uh, it's almost on the verge of being stuck. Okay. I feel like the strength, I feel like they're also, they're holding back, they're, but they're trying to, it's also meaning they're holding back, but also that they're trying to gain strength. They're trying to gain the strength that's needed, but they just lack motivation. I feel like that they're feeling kind of blah. They really want things to be balanced. They want everything to be right, and they have hope, but hope without action. 
is the star in the reverse. And they are feeling out in the cold. Okay, so they are feeling um, broke money-wise too. So they're feeling they don't have a lot of money. They don't have a lot to give. I feel like they probably don't feel like they're enough. Okay, like they have enough. They don't have anything to offer. And maybe you don't know this. Maybe you did know this already. Maybe you felt it, but this is what they're trying to hide. They're trying to hide. They're trying to play it off like they don't feel like this, but that's what they feel. So if you're trying to, if you're feeling like something's not quite right, this is what they're trying to hide. Man, this is actually a relief because I've gotten worse. When you're really, <laughs> this reading, oh my God, what secrets are they hiding? I'm really asking for it. <laughs> I'm really asking for some crazy scenarios opening myself up. This person, uh, so this card right here, it even says, and this did come in reverse, health issues may be affecting your energy. So this person very well, most likely has health energy. This came up uh, reversed when I came out. And the reversed reading is health issues may be affecting your energy. It does say remind yourself why you got involved to begin with, but... Mm, I'm really feeling that health issues in, and that's why I tell everybody, you know, maybe some of you, they already are seeing a doctor and they know what's causing it and they might be hiding that they're seeing a doctor. They're hiding some kind of health issue from you. Very well could be doing that. And those health issues and everything are making them feel like crap. You know, they just don't feel good. And I don't think it has anything to do with you. Because like I said, I see like they feel like the situation is destined. They're trying to gain strength so they can do, they can come forward and they want to do right. And they have hope in, and everything. And they have everything, but they just don't feel good. And that's what they're trying to hide. So I guess it could be worse. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I have for stone number one. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it, and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. All right, well, thank you very much. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to stone number two. All right, so I have the cards for stone number two with the amethyst, and let's find out the secrets they're hiding from you. So we have the Five of Swords, we have the Three of Cups, we have the Ace of, of Wands in the reverse, we have the Five of Pentacles, we have the Page of Cups, we have the World in the reverse, we have the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Six of Swords, we also have Story Time, and we have number 15, The Call. I had to actually pull two cards for this part of this one. Ah, jeez. Alright, there's like a few things here, but this is a story. That's what story time is trying to say is to take a listen. Is saying that there is a story that they're hiding from you. That's something that happened with their friends. Okay, either they lied to you about it or they're hiding it, but... All right, so I'm going to try to read the story, and Tara is not going to be easy, and I might not be 100% accurate with it, okay? So don't be running to them going, you didn't tell me about this. All right, but maybe you heard part of the story, but you didn't hear the whole story, okay? All right, first off... The call. I feel like, okay, so I feel like they got a call. <laughs> this is so crazy. I'm doing this. So they got a call, a phone call. They got a message. Okay, basically, they they got a message from, I want to guess their friend. Okay. Their friend was bitching at him and they're arguing. And some of the words were exchanged that may have gotten some people hurt. But I do see that there is some kind of unfinished business about this message. So I am picking up 
that there is some kind of scenario going on here that happened with his friend that they're hiding from you. I feel like it could have been, it could have also happened at a party. Like they got into a fight at the party they called, asked them if they wanted to go to the party. They went to the party and there was a fight and some kind of issue there. And it's been, it's left undone. It's not solved. And maybe they told you, oh yeah, everything's fine between you and your friend. They are not fine. Things are not fine. And we have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. This is a weird reading. <laughs> so now they're kind of like, hmm. feels like I don't know if you're the friend you might be the friend for some of you they have like a pause and they're trying to figure out is this really what I want to be they're trying to figure out if I should change if they should change directions in their path or whatever because they're feeling like uninspired um, unfocused they have like low self-esteem feeling ineffective also feeling left out in the cold but they are starting to move away from the situation mentally So, I don't know who this person is that they have left something undone. It could be you. It could be them. It could be somebody else, you know, that is unrelated. I feel like it, it could very well be a friend because we have the Three of Cups here. But it says that something that they're doing needs more dedicated attention. So, they do need to work on the situation with this person person could be you or not let me know in the comments below if it's a person oh I did not say what signs could be associated so we, we have with the page of cups any water sign <clears throat> with sorry about coughing with the world it could be there's Capricorn and any fire sign basically Anyways, that's all I have for stone number two. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. All right, well, thank you very much. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to stone number three. All right, so I have the cards for stone number three with the obsidian and let's find out what they're hiding. So we have the Emperor. We have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. We have the Page of Cups. We have the Ace of Cups in the upright. And we have the Judgment in the reverse. The Eight of Cups. Hmm. We also have the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the King of Swords in the reverse and the Seven of Cups. And then we have number four, Vigilance. So what is going on here? What are they hiding? What secrets are they hiding? Well, let's see. What signs? Man, I, I, I have a feeling this, this one's going to be kind of popular because I'm getting lots of signs in a lot of them. So it could be any water sign going on here. We also have this one right here. The ace. I mean, not ace. The king of swords, which is Capricorn Aquarius. We also have the Emperor, which is Aries, and then we have Judgment as well, which is Scorpio. And we have the Ace of Wands, which could be any fire sign. So there's going to be a vast majority of you guys. <sighs> this one's a little bit confusing. I am going to go ahead and read Vigilance, and this is going to help, I think. It says, keep an eye on the situation, but don't do anything just yet. There will be time for action later, and your energy will be needed then. You'll have a better idea of what's going on if you can maintain an attitude of detached observation. This is not a time to give in to your emotions or be dragged down by other people's drama. Remove yourself from petty squabbles, circular arguments, 
and people who are chasing their own tails. When you rise above the dust of turmoil, you'll see more clearly what the real issues are. So, you know what I'm really feeling? It says, actually, keep your observations to yourself for the time being. There's no immediate danger, but the situation is changeable. So what I'm really feeling is going on here is that this person is trying to, it's like, um, I have a feeling you may not be in communication with this person for some of you. This one, I don't know, it's confusing. There's something here, I'm gonna read it in a second. I'm gonna to try to figure it out in a second. I might ask for clarification for that one. But, this is a person who is trying to just observe what's going on and trying to figure out who you, maybe you are, what the situation is. They're trying to hide. Like the person is trying to act aloof. They're not really aloof. They're trying to act aloof. They're trying to be detached. They're trying to observe the situation and figure out what they should do. Okay? That is something they're hiding. They're actually, they're acting like they're not paying attention to anything when they're actually paying attention very closely about what's going on around you and, and the whole situation, what's going on. See right here. With judgment in reverse, there's some kind of decision they got to make or something they got to do, but they're trying to think logically, okay? Like this could be about work or something and being a, the person could be in a leadership role, and that could be true for some of you. But what this card's really trying to say is they're trying to think logically because the emperor thinks logically about stuff before he makes any moves about what he's going to do, Okay. And because of that, he's trying to judge the situation and gauge what he should be doing. I'm trying to... It's actually starting, yeah, see how it's like saying about vigilance, detached, like detached means detached emotionally to the outcome of what's going on. So this person is trying to, is, is actually involved emotionally, but they're trying not to be, and they're trying to move away from the situation emotionally. This is like, this right here feels like they're not acting on the new start. Like they know there's inspiration, there's a new start that could be happening, but they're just, they're choosing not to act on it because they're not sure about it. They're not, they don't understand what's going on. They don't understand the situation and they're not sure about it. This one. This one's a tricky, okay? You guys gotta let me feel this one out more. So, this right here isn't about moving away from it, but this person is taking time to, to, um, they're not so much moving away from it like I was saying. It's like they're moving away from the thought of being attached to the motions of things. It doesn't mean that they don't care. And they're not leaving the whole situation either. They're not totally leaving it they're taking it's like they're taking time out and taking time alone to contemplate their emotions and decide if they should leave or not or if they should just say uh screw this i can't do this or whatever if they should get involved they're they're basically trying to figure out what they should be doing if they need to, they should trying to figure out if they should move if they should get a new job quit a job start a relationship in a new relationship you know go on a trip you know this can indicate going on a trip to actually find yourself you know but, or just even leaving behind hopes and dreams. This could be about, okay, if I want this new start, so in this situation, if they want this new start, maybe they're not acting on the new start because if they need, if they had to do this new start, they might have to move. 
And if they had to move, they would have to leave behind some hopes and dreams and thoughts and, and some attachments they had where they are at. And maybe they're not ready to do, to do that. And so they're taking time to understand everything. They're, you know, being vigilant. They're trying to be, you know, they're, they're trying to think logically about the situation. This person is really, if anything, maybe over overthinking it if it, at the, you know, for the most part. Okay, so I'm feeling this is going to... It's again, so I feel like this is another person, maybe a water sign, that has sent a message, not so much of love per se, it is a kind message, a nice message, like an almost like an invitation it feels like to come build a legacy, okay, with, with you, or maybe it was you who sent this, but somebody sent a message they, they, about a new start, okay. A new start about this and inspiration. They're trying to ignore it. They're trying to still come through this. And they're like, hey, come on, you know, we have a legacy to do. And they know, you know, that they need to do that legacy. Okay. But <laughs> this whole situation, this person's probably not talking to you. I would be shocked. Let me know if this person is talking to you. I'd be shocked. This person basically is trying to act like... <laughs> They're not that they're they're not um, talking to you because they're st they don't know what to do. They this is like this is a, this person. I feel like they know they're like torn between what they feel like they should do and what they and what they actually want to do because they know they should do something because it's part of their path and something they got to do. And maybe the universe is telling them, "Come on, you got to do this. This is your open door. Go, go, go." And then he's like, "I don't know." I don't think I should do that it might be maybe the situation is too big I don't know okay but I feel like this person has invited this person to uh, come on let's go you know we can have a happy we can make money maybe they're inviting them to have a money venture or something and the situation also part of it you know unfortunately this person is unhappy because Ah, this King of Swords in the reverse. That's them. I know that's them. Okay, this is them and that's them. But, oh my God. So, this is a person who's ignoring the facts. They're trying to, they're, they're per, they're like they're not happy okay this person could have actually communicated like responded not out of love but maybe they felt like there could be new love there and they're like no I don't want to do that or they were definitely bitching and they were trying to figure out their options here with the seven of cups they're trying to they they have all these options they're trying to like picture it all I'm trying to visualize what they should be doing. I'm trying to figure... This is a person who is trying really hard to understand what they should be doing next. And they... It's like what is being asked of them by the universe and what they're being guided to do does not go along with the status quo. Okay. They not... They don't want to do that. But they know they should. And so the universe is going to keep bugging them and bugging them and bugging them and bugging them. They're not going to. So that's why they're upside down here. They're all messed up. This person's all messed up. They want to go, okay, what about this option? Can I do this instead? Can I do this instead? Trying to find something else instead they're supposed to do. And they're being vigilant. This is what they're hiding. All of this stuff. They're, and, the, and meanwhile, they just act like, to you, it seems like they don't give a crap. And they're not thinking or acting about anything. They think that... You probably don't even think they've read your messages. And they probably they have. And actually your messages are really getting to them. But they, you probably think they're ignoring them. And they're ignoring you. But they're not. Okay. They're actually getting your messages. And they're reading them. And they're mulling over them. And they're just trying. And that's what they're hiding. They're hiding all of this from you. Everything that this whole entire process they're going through. They're hiding that from you. They don't want you to know. They're trying to hide it. They're trying to act the observer. Anyways, that was fun. 
If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future readings, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you, should, you could see how to do that in the description below. All right, well, thank you very much. And I'm going to move on to stone number four. All right, so I have the cards for stone number four with a selenite. And let's find out what you're hi they're hiding from you. <laughs> you're hiding from them? Sorry, just messing around. All right, anyway, so we have the Six of Wands, and this one actually is both. This one was more like this. It's upright and reversed. This card couldn't decide if it was one to be upright or reversed. But I know it's supposed to be there. It wants to be both. So it means both. Upright and reverse. So we have the Six of Wands. We have the Chariot. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Fool. We have the Sun. We have the Eight of Pentacles. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. And then we also got a bonus card, the Five of Wands in the reverse. We also got number 31 of the Oracle cards. Oh, I don't remember what that one is. Let's see. Tough Love. We got Tough Love. And then we have number 11. I think this one's management. This one's kind of funny because I see I feel a lot of people in this one too. A lot of people are dipping into this one. This is going to be harder to read. It gets harder to read when I get lots of different people doing different things. So there's some of you who have varying stories with similar themes. That's what I'm seeing here. Oh, and this, this one's improvisation. My bad. It looks similar to the management one. This one's called Improvisation. This could be a person that you work with for a lot of you or, or you're in the same line of work. So maybe you work for the same company doing similar things or you even work for the same company and, you know, doing similar things. Anyways, maybe do different things for the same company. I feel so many things going on here. All right, so the signs that could be associated with this is Aquarius, Cancer, Leo, and the Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be. I'm just saying. This is definitely the energy that this other person is in. <laughs> this could be you and this could be them. All right. And this could be you. <sighs> I feel like part of what... I feel like they know. They know. Okay, what you're hiding. Their secret that they're hiding is that they know what you're hiding. I can tell this with the sun card really strongly too. They're and they're also, you know, they're moving forward really carefully. They want to be victorious. They know that you or they know that you are this could be you too. Anyway, so they know that you are working on a project yourself. You're very clear that you're working hard on something as well. They're working hard on something similar, but they're trying to be careful. They, it feels like that they also know that you have difficulty in your leadership role that you may have. I feel like you're actually both in a leadership role and, and one of you is successful and one of you is successful. You're both successful, but one of you is having difficulty in their leadership role. It could be some somebody could be frustrated because they're not getting any recognition for their successes, or maybe this, there's issues with like getting you know as you start doing more work, you start with increased recognition for the work 
So this could be increased rec recognition in for work. This isn't reversing an upright. I'm reading the reversed version right now. Um, they could be getting increased recognition, but also becomes increased criticism. And I feel like that this is probably the issue that you're they're both getting. You are getting and they're getting. You're both getting increased criticism by people. Either your coworkers or or maybe like I am you I do YouTube, I get criticism from from people all the time. You know, so with success comes increased criticism, and I think that's what this is coming up as. And criticism for a lot of people can be hard to take for, but the reason why I feel like that because we they're both you're both very clear. I don't feel like this is a very good secret. Like I feel like that they think that they're hiding this, but they're not. <laughs> the person actually knows what's going on and they're trying to actually move forward very carefully you know slowly and carefully chugging along trying to make sure they don't make any mistakes or trip up anything or really self like discipline they're trying to control them they're very determined okay I feel like, yeah, they're very determined. This is so confusing. All right, because I feel like there's both of you here. Okay, so I feel like that each of these people are here, if that makes sense, listening to this reading. So there's going to be both aspects. So if I'm can, I could be describing you or them. It's going to get confusing. Anyway, so I do I do see you. It feels like this is you it's talking about mostly so with these two cards working your butt off okay you're very very careful about what you're doing you're trying to make sure you stay on your path um trying to learn new skills trying to like navigate everything but i feel like that you keep pausing it's like they know things about you this is so confusing. It's like confusing how to explain it. That's what's confusing. I understand what's going on. I just don't know how to explain it. That's what I'm screwing up at here. I feel like I'm screwing up anyway. So Okay, when They are, okay, okay, I got it right now. I had to rethink this because I started going in the booth. Okay, so they are, um, they, they, they have a, like a, a bad inner critic too. So they have this right here. We have outer critics and we're having inner critics and they feel a little bit limited. And every time they feel like that, they pause and they try to reassess everything, try to make sure everything's okay. But all in all, um, I'm really feeling like this person's pretty confident in what they're doing. There's like an owl outside howling like crazy, hooting. I thought it was my four-year-old. You hear the owl howl, like the hooting owl? It's like, what are you doing out there, Mr. Owl? <sighs> but. That is not my set music. That is an owl outside my window. No, what does that mean? <laughs> that might mean something in this reading here. But either way, this person is still abundant, even though they have little issues, hiccups with it. For all in all, they are working hard, and they um, they are still very abundant, down to earth person who is working really hard. They're actually a very protective person and rather nurturing. I don't know if they're hiding all of that from you, but that's what they are. If that helps you know who I'm talking about, maybe. Either way, this person is a fighter. 
and uh, they struggle. They have been struggling and they always will struggle to like do and fight for what they So it looks like maybe, I feel like maybe you had a fight with this person and um, it's not like the big point of this thing, but you had some kind of like an argument or some kind of like comp, like somebody had a combat pad of personality. Maybe it was them. Maybe it was you. It doesn't matter. I feel like it's going to go both ways. This is kind of just out here. So usually that means something that is out here. I think it probably can go both ways, but I feel like you possibly both have combative personalities and, um, but somebody said something, actually there's like even, there's, there's competition even being, <laughs> being portrayed here in this card, being in reverse. But what I'm feeling is going on here is that um, like this could be a time after and they're ready to apologize if someone was wrong they're ready to accept an apology or give an apology but they don't want to be the first to apologize so so it's like I feel like it's like they're waiting for an apology okay they're waiting for an apology but also This card also can indicate being backing down too quickly when faced with opposition. But also when it's in reverse, it could be a situation that is um, indicate an in inner conflict, like wanting to do two things that can't be done together. So I feel like that they might have a lot of inner conflict as well. This is confusing because um, my my intuition keeps trying to change sides while I'm trying to read these cards. So I'm trying to, it's easier to read from someone's perspective and I'm trying to read from yours, but I'm getting from some of you that some of you are this person, some of you this person. I'm feeling most of the masculine are going to be the fool and the feminine are going to be the chariot and this queen of pentacles. This is the same person. This is the masculine. And, and I feel like they're both, there's like some mirroring going on here too. It's, so I'm just going to tell you what all this means and then you can try to pick through some of it and try to figure out maybe there's something that I missed or something like that. I'll just tell you what it is to me. Mm, okay. So I'm feeling like this fighting here that has happened could be the result of some tough love. And I feel like they're trying to have some tough love on you. Okay. They're treating you with some tough love. It says things that are good for us don't always feel good. Have you ever, have you been on the receiving end of some tough love lately? Remember the ones who love us most will tell us the truths that need to be told. They trust that we know is for our benefit, even if it stings in the moment. This hurts me more than it hurts you is often quite true. So thank them, take your medicine, and take the tough love to heart. Remember how to feel the next time you need to dispense it to someone else. <sighs> That's a lot. That one always like light, makes me laugh. I I am very well known for dispensing my share, my fair share of tough love. It's like the hardest love to give, actually, for someone who really is very compassionate, loving, and giving. So, what are they hiding? Hmm. They're hiding that you're, they're very good at, improvis at improvisation, okay? They're actually, if they haven't given you an, any tough love, they're well, well prepared to give you plenty of it, okay? If you need it, if you're being combative and stuff like that, and you're being rude, then they will. But they are showing that, it is saying that they are, they're hiding or it's a secret 
that, or maybe you're not aware that they're very, 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 very good at improvisation. It says, the card interpretation says, don't worry if you don't have a solid plan for how to proceed. Many things are actually better when they develop spontaneously, organically, playfully. Let each step of the process lead you onward to the next. This can refer to a project of adventure, a relationship, or whatever else you are fretting about at the moment. Rather than scrambling to gather everything all at once and make it perfect, improvise with what you have on hand and allow room for serendipity. And that's what they're doing. For the process, for things to unfold, maybe they don't know how it's supposed to unfold and they're just trying to allow it to unfold naturally. So they that's why they're feeling like they really have to move forward very controlled. You know, it's very clear they need to be controlled. They know that they need to do that in order. They need to not control you, they're trying to control themselves. Because I'm feeling this person is like, let's do it. Let's charge full speed ahead. They're a go-getter type. And um, they're, <laughs> they're definitely a go-getter type. And, and, and they're like, they're trying to tame it down and not basically scare you away. You're like a little animal. And if they come, come at you. <laughs> if, they come, if they come at you, there you might run away scampering away. Ah! <laughs> but um so they're trying to be very careful about what they're doing they're trying to control the situation they know that you know that you know that they know you know all this stuff is going on okay but they know what you're doing they know they understand a lot more than you think that they do so they're being very careful and they're trying to kind of just let you do whatever you're going to do and they're trying to just improvise and they're very good at it. It says the process of improvisation may reveal an unknown genius in you. So also this person could very well be a genius and you don't know it. I don't know. I feel something in that one. But anyways, that's all I have for stone number four. This is a little confusing and I'm sorry if you don't understand it. Please don't leave a comment saying, I didn't understand. You know, I'm sorry if you not understand. I barely understood it myself. So, but this is what the cards say. Anyways, that's all I have for you. I hope you, you all have a wonderful day or night. God bless.